Hello, everybody. Normally on this channel, I cover politics, terrorism, nukes, whatever is going on in the Middle East, military affairs, all that fun stuff. However, because I have a platform, I got to get something off my chest. It's a story that is bothering me. It's from a story about Salem, Oregon, where I'm from. It's, a, it's about an hour away from Portland, just for kind of perspective. Now, the story was something that I had originally filmed and talked about, but I didn't actually post the video because we were trying to raise money for people's medical bills but the people actually received the amount that they needed to cover their medical bills by the time I even posted the video. So I talked about it on social media, but that's about it. The story goes like this. There's two Salem workers. Their job was to pick up trash around the city. They worked for the city of Salem. They had to go into a homeless camp in a place called Wallace Marine Park. They had to ride around a guy who was a homeless individual with a pit bull. It appears based off the people who kind of, who were around that situation, it appears that the guy was having some sort of a psychotic episode and lashed out at the two workers. So the guy, the homeless guy, jumps on top of the driver and starts trying to gouge his eyes out. That guy received cuts all across his eyes. The guy who was with him, the other Salem city of Salem worker, gets out of his car and starts trying to run around to help the situation. Well, the homeless guy's pit bull starts attacking him. So now there's a situation where there's a homeless man attacking the city of Salem worker and a pit bull attacking the other city of Salem worker. The pit bulls then starts attacking both the guys. So the guys are in charge of trying to find a way to deal with that situation. Based off of the people who had seen that situation, nobody specifically, it's just Salem's a small place. They're witnesses who then, you know, talk to each other. No one specifically, just passerbys. Apparently it took a hot while for the police to get there, despite the fact the police are literally in that area all of the time. They didn't receive any sort of help. What happens at the end of this is that the two guys had about $1,500 in medical bills, but they can't pay it because they're part-time employees. Part-time employees don't get health care because apparently their lives don't matter. So what happens is we had to do a GoFundMe and they raised the $1,500, were able to pay for the medical bills, thank God. But what has happened since then? One of the guys had to go to back to work apparently the next day, just for perspective, which is, that is incredible. City of Salem workers have to go right back into that same situation and deal with that same crowd. Now, this isn't a political video about homelessness or any of that. What it's talking about is the failures on the part of the city to be able to deal with people who are having enough crises in their life to where they are homeless and the city does not know what to do with them other than put them into a camp and seclude them so anybody can go in and cause trouble. And now the city of Salem workers are scared enough to where they literally don't want to go back into that area, but they have to or else they're going to get written up and probably fired as a result. That doesn't sound right. You would think that the city or Oregon in general would have a better way to deal with the homeless population. I cover homelessness in Portland all of the time, but because I'm from Salem and these people got cuts on their eyes and they have no health care. I think it's important for me to be able to talk about that in the best way that I can. I might start doing a lot more videos talking about the deep systematic corruption in Salem, specifically that isn't reported uh, by the media yet. But anyway, that's all I gotta say, thank you.